Monday morning. Had bad Chinese food last night. It was a little slow start, but we're here. So we're doing a heat pump system on a total electric house. So meaning heat pump with backup electric upstairs. There's no, and nothing here as far as utilities go, so they're straight electric. I mean, I'll show you the small unit they had out the back. It was terrible compared to what the new outdoor is going to look like. It's going to be a huge upgrade, so stay tuned. Well, the heat pump is, is going to be their main source of heating, and then when that can't keep up, the backup electric and the air hand they're upstairs kicks in. So what you want to do is have a huge, efficient unit outside, so that backup electric has to kick in the, as least as possible. You want us to use the other pan, but that should be on you. This is the upstairs air handler. I mean, just the years, uh, like I was saying before, the technology that goes into the fans. You know, more efficient fans, the coils are a lot better. I mean, there's not much difference as far as pushing the air, per se, but <clears throat> the outdoors on heat pumps are what make all the difference. Yummy. Yeah, this beam came out of nowhere. I thought you had a light on that camera. <laughs> nope. Fishing for spider webs. <laughs> we don't show these videos to the people we want to hire for new new hires because you'll never want to get in this trade. <laughs> we never go in crawl spaces. Well, we do. Yeah. Cotton candy, you want some? <laughs> it's for Marissa. We're gonna go put this in her desk drawer. <laughs> No, I'm gonna pull here, but I wanna see how loose it is, you know? I don't know, just wiggle it, see how, how bad it wiggles. Yeah, it's, it's stuck on something. It's stuck on something down there. I really think it's 90s, because I'm probably center of the fireplace right now with this thing. Well, we're trying to utilize sneaking a line up there, you know, without mounting all this on the outside of the house. So we thought we'd seen a passageway. We could get all this in there, but that's not gonna happen. So we gotta go outside and find a different way up. We thought we could snake this up in there. Today it's supposed to rain at two, so we'll see how see that works. I hate rain, but we don't live in Florida, so even more rain. Everything, according to Daryl. Why aren't you out of here yet? That was Daryl's voice too. It's uh, it's a little challenging. I mean, you can see our line line high here. It's like goes up and out under the deck. It's uh, the attic, as you've seen in the photos the other day. It's uh, real real tight, so. This line set, uh, just a whole day of just running a line set, you know? Somebody's gonna have to go under the deck. It's not gonna be a fun fun day, in the beginning at least. But we're here, smiling, staying positive. Thank you. 
throwing stuff in the littlest attic possible. Yeah, look at this. You gotta climb over 10,000 things to do one job. Builds character though, right? Yeah, I had enough of character for my life. <laughs> Co-worker out. Brad dropped his. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he tooled down the wall. So trying to grab it. Brought a magnet. It's freaking aluminum. It didn't work. We didn't know it was a freaking aluminum tool. I guess they don't rust. So you're going with the hook. We're gonna try to hook it. Probably like a thirty-dollar tool. get his cutters out of the wall I'm gonna act like they're still in there and then he's like, oh, you know but uh no we got them out um first try too first pull still got my electrical snaking ability so uh yeah today was uh it was a long day but uh we did it uh started the rain made it more of a mess luckily we got everything done outside we needed to uh we're just charging the unit and then we get to go home so it is 4 30 on a Tuesday finishing up another day at service stars